Animal Rescue League, and my guest is Dr. Georgia Arvanitas. Thanks, Casey. Yes, I'm Easel's Vice President and Director of Grants, and I'm going to talk to you today about microchipping. So what do you want to know? Um, what is the purpose of microchipping, and why did Easel start microchipping? Well, microchipping is designed in order to help people find a lost pet. And of course, as an animal rescue group, we are very concerned about matching people back up with their lost pets. What is a microchip and how does it work? Does it tell location like a GPS? A microchip is a small device about the size of a grain of rice and it's deployed from a, a needle like this. The microchip itself is an RFID unit that um, actually has a readable signal that can be detected with a scanner. It doesn't work like a GPS, but that technology is something that re researchers are working on now. Tell me about the process of microchipping. Okay, microchipping, um, as I said before, you deploy the little device out of the needle like this, and it goes into the back of the pet's neck. It can be used on both dogs and cats. It doesn't hurt the animal at all. It goes into um, a position where they actually have, um, you know, a lot of a very loose skin, and it gets embedded in the muscle so it doesn't um, slip out. It doesn't hurt at all. There's no harmful effects. It is an approved medical device. Um, it's tested by veterinarians. It's very, very safe. How long does it last? It actually lasts the lifetime of the animal. What happens if my animal does get lost? Well, if your animal gets lost and is turned in at a shelter or a vet's office, what will happen is they will scan the pet. So we're going to check Patty here. This little scanner. And Patty's microchip number comes up on the scanner. Then what will happen is that um, the vet or the shelter that found the animal will be able to call in this number and find out who the owner is and get the animal reunited with its owner. There you go, Patty. You're safe. Should all pets be microchipped? Why wouldn't an animal's collar with ID be enough to identify them? Well, we really believe that all pets should be microchipped because you just never know what can go wrong. A workman can come to the house and your cat or dog can slip out the door. Um, you know, uh, in natural disasters like in Hurricane Sandy, a lot of pets were lost. And having a microchip really makes it a lot um, more likely that they're going to find their way back home. The pet has a collar. You know, that collar can slip off. Um, particularly with cats, you know, they tend to wiggle out of things. It might get stuck on a tree branch or something. So really, um, a microchip is the best assurance that you're going to be able to identify where that cat came from or dog. Where can I get my pet microchipped and is it affordable? You can get your pet microchipped at your vet's office or Easel runs some low-cost microchip clinics periodically. It is a very affordable process either way, and the registration costs are minimal as well. Um, the whole concept behind microchipping is to prevent overcrowding at shelters, to prevent animals from being euthanized, and everyone involved and engaged in the microchip process is there to help that, and it's, it's made affordable so that people can actually get reunited with their pets. Easel has a couple of microchip clinics um, every year. Actually, we have them every couple of months. You can check our website, www.easelnj.org, to learn more about them, or check out our Facebook page because we post periodically when our chipping events will take place. You get to register in advance so you, you know your spot is reserved. One of the reasons why Easel is so passionate about microchips is a couple of years ago, there was a small cat found after Hurricane Sandy, hungry, obviously lost, wandering around the neighborhood. Kitty had no collar on and no microchip. So he made up some flyers and posted them on telephone poles around the neighborhood. We put them in stores. We actually um, put some information out on the internet trying to find the home for this poor little lost cat. Anyway, 
Months passed and no one claimed her. In the long run, a little slappy story is fine. I mean, she went from a storm kitty to a, to a found kitty, and then she ended up getting adopted. If she had a microchip, she would have been returned to her owners. Right, Jelly? So we recommend that all pets, dogs and cats, wear their collars with an ID and also have a microchip. Jack? Hey, Jack, what do you think? Every kitty should have a microchip, right? Every puppy should have a microchip? Look at the camera, Jack, tell him.